first tonight, community members will be having a rally tomorrow for Brittany Shank, a Southwest Michigan woman who disappeared east of Sturgis in November of 2018. Since then, there have been no arrests or major breakthroughs in this case. News 8's David Horak had the chance to speak with Brittany's mother. Ever since Brittany Shank disappeared more than four and a half years ago, her mother said that every day has been a living nightmare. You know, along with this, you know, we didn't, we didn't ever find any, we've never gotten any answers. There's always just all these crazy horror stories of what happened to her, and that's what we live with every single day. But Jessica Nicole says those beyond her inner circle who came to help since then have been a godsend. Without them, I don't know where we would be right now. We, we would probably be nowhere, literally. Like, I, I don't know what would have been done without them. This is important, and to provide that type of... And that includes the crew of the podcast Hide and Seek and its host, James Basinger. This is Hide and Seek, season three. I'm your host, James Basinger. I will not leave your side. I will not uh, turn on you guys. I, I want to find her, and I'm going to do so, you know, until, until we, I'm going to be with you until we do, and he's been right there. This whole time. It does give you chills. You know, you travel those that road every day. Sturgis resident Jackie Milliman follows the podcast, but wanted to do more to help Brittany's story stay alive. She organized a rally for 10 o'clock Saturday morning outside the St. Joseph County Sheriff's Office. With knowledge comes responsibility, and we have knowledge of this case. So it becomes the responsibility of us as a community to come alongside this family encourage and support and help them with this case and help them find answers. Hopefully, or, you know, end results, we, we want to know what happened to our, our, my daughter. And we want the people responsible to pay for what they've done. We want to know. Nicole and the rest of Brittany's family plan to be there as they continue to press on, still wondering where and why. And, and the hope gets dimmer every every day, every day, honestly. It gets dimmer and dimmer. But I try to, you know, stay positive on that note and, you know, and pray for the best. And the St. Joseph County Sheriff's Office gave us a brief comment saying that they remain focused on the missing persons investigation of Brittany and that they continue to work diligently to locate her and understand the circumstances surrounding her disappearance. We're in Centerville. David Horak, News 8.